I'm at the Savoy Museum in Cartersville, Georgia, and I'm actually in the uh, 50s, the 1950s hall. This is the area that, for me, really uh, excites the imagination. And I'm facing a 1958 Cadillac, or 57 Cadillac Berets. But there's also, next to that, an amazing caddy. But we'll have a look at these Cadillacs and other cars in this area quite now. So we've got a row of Cadillacs down here. And look, we've got, this is a 1960s Caddy 62 series. Again, look at the fins, the chrome, etc. And the fins and the side, uh, the size of the trunk, of the boot. A massive four-door car, all in red interior. Four on the tree, I think, gear change. wonder what that is. If anybody knows what that is on the dashboard there, let me know in the comments. So if you thought these fins weren't big enough, let's go next door to this vehicle. This is the 1959 Cadillac, Cadillac Alderado. And look at the size of the fins on this. These rear lights have been traditionally used for hot rodding, but this is probably, I would say, the biggest car in the collection. Again, another red red interior. Big power brakes. The roof will be hydraulic, of course. But look at that, look at the chrome. Look at that. Imagine that on somebody's drawing board, on the designer's drawing board in the 1950s. This car is as almost, well, it's older than me, this car. And the flourish of putting the Berets sign there. And then down the side, a big chrome accentuation down the side, linking the chrome windscreen surround to the chrome rear of the vehicle and again the polka dot type polka dot type grill at the back so you could almost they've almost put a front grill at the back these cars had everything all the options cruise control that we know in modern cars cruise control uh, air wrap suspension <laughs> Self dimming mirror. Three hundred and forty five brake horsepower V eight engine, six point four litre, and the top speed is. Uh, 70 mile an hour here. Oh, sorry, 127 mile an hour. So, be interesting to see the roof going up. So there's the Cadillacs. Some magnificent examples. So that's 1960, 59. And this one's 58, which is an again Eldorado. Look at look at the difference between it. Look, look what a difference a year makes. Completely different. Still got the fins, but again, massive rear area for the roof, and a, a really sort of blue metallic. Look at the chrome again, dashboard. A 
and it's got gold polka dot radiator grill at the front with lights below the bumpers and twin headlights at the front. Maybe they should put the roof up. I wonder if the roofs work on them all. Still. The convertible top would automatically close and the windows would roll up. This is the oh, one of two vehicles that survive. It is a Chevrolet El Camino from 1959. Big black interior. Again. Let's move over to some 1959 Plymouth. So all these cars are 1959. These were in you, you could go out and buy at 1959 one of these vehicles in the right dealership. Which would you buy? Would you get a Caddy? Would you get the Al Camino? Or would you get this Plymouth? This was the era of a, which began to approaching the space race and space and stuff. And this example, this Plymouth Fury, again, we got the wings of the 50s. And look at it inside. Like a clear Bakelite steer, not Bakelite, but a clear plastic steering wheel. A push button gear change look, I think, on the right hand side. This Sport Fury features front seat swivel chairs that turn and face the kerb and at the touch of a button, passengers swing into the interior with a wide armrest between the seats. Five point two litre three one eight cubic inch engine one hundred and twenty three mile an hour top speed. Next to that is Pontiac Bonneville convertible, 1957. So all these vehicles on, you know, on the, I keep going on about it, but I just imagine them on the drawing board. Uh, this one, again, big. Dash, chrome dash. Let's have a look at the front of the car. Look at those lamps and look at it. Look at that barrel type front end, single headlights. And next to that one is a Lincoln. the uh, air intakes on the wood lamps on the side and then a big sweep of chrome down the side sorry this is a Packard 1956 Packard not a Lincoln Packard it says the land of Lincoln but it's the Packard Packard Caribbean Power adjustable front seats, power steering, power windows, Ezomatic power brakes. Notice the exhaust exiting out of the uh, chrome bumper, as with the one next to it, the Bonneville next to that. Twin aerials.
And there we go, look. A metal machined dashboard by the look of it. Notice the big handles for adjusting the mirrors. And then push button gear change just at that side of the steering column. Uh, and we've got this looks like a Chevy Bel Air, which is a nice example, all in red. Nineteen fifty-seven, and then we've got a Studebaker. So, the last. That was 57, really the last vehicle in this display is this amazing, massive Lincoln Premier convertible in a purple colour. The front suspension was re-engineered by Earl McPherson of the McPherson Strut fame. 6 litre V8 115 mile an hour but look at the colour scheme on it amazing hood emblem look at this single headlights straight line chrome front end this was 56 so this was the start of it all so no fins as such the little fins but so where we go there's the 50 display at the uh, Savoy Museum if you like the video please like and subscribe Great to see these amazing cars, it being better to actually see them on the road being driven. But hey ho, what an era of car development, car innovation, different models of cars coming out in different years. But imagine, as I've said before, you can, if you lived in the, 90, the late 50s, between 57 and 59, you could go and buy one of these vehicles from a dealership. Thanks for watching.